distance between the electorate that, that comes from the fact that there are the states are treated as independent entities. Okay. So next thing I want to look at though is I'll cut from various of these hot rights housing things, but I want to Google next and Google Scholar um, means testing. Okay. So means testing is the reality of what has to happen when you talk about a right to welfare, which is we don't want rich people to have the same right to housing as poor people. So the consequence of that is we have to means test. What it means to means test is you find out if you're poor. You you have to prove you're poor to get something. Okay? You have to prove you're poor to get something. That's means testing. So if we look at... I'll save this PDF. All right, this is all in a non-readable font. How do you convert all this stuff into regular font? PDF to regular font. Save as Okay.
Okay, I just uploaded a few things on, a few articles on means testing that have been converted to text documents from PDFs. What? I only got the damn it, the target in one doesn't work properly. I have to use the PDF of that one because it's a it's actually a photo of a book. No. <laughs> Convenient. But the target end one is a good idea. It gives you a good sense of socialism in Europe and how it works and stuff like that. So it's worth reading. So basically, you want to refer to means testing as the poverty trap.
This is a good one. Making the case for a constitutional right to minimum entitlement. This is a good one too. All right, guys, cut from those two, I think, right? If you're going to cut from something right now, let's all cut from making the case for constitutional right to a minimum entitlements and the alternative to that, the untenable case for an unconditional right to shelter. Do you want to work on PF? Sure. This thing is old. Which one? Well, it's not that old. It's, it's LD though, so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. 